What's going on guys? We are back from vacation. Uh, went to Kentucky and Wisconsin with the wife Reno. Uh, you know, got to go to our friend's wedding. That was pretty fun. Visit some family. But anyway, we're back. I've already started working on the RX-7 yesterday. Uh, I got my camera back, which is super cool. I stuck my old memory card in, tried it out again, and I think it was just a memory card failure. So fingers crossed this memory card doesn't corrupt all my footage too. Fingers crossed. Been working on the 7 a little bit more. Uh, I've started sanding it. Sorry, I'm a little groggy. I just woke up from a nap because I'm pretty tired. Uh, I've been sanding this. Um, we're almost ready to move on to paint. I'm gonna give it another sanding with like actual hand sandpaper. Um, I attacked this thing with a sanding disc for the grinder, and I need to clean up some of the rust pots a little bit, um, which I'm going to probably tackle today with wherever it went. Uh, I got this stuff, Evapo Rust, straight off Amazon. I don't know how well it works or not, but it had pretty good reviews on Amazon, so I got it. I've seen it at Harbor Freight, actually. Um, and then another kind of cool thing that I kind of need to show you guys, I actually picked up something pretty cool for this that I didn't really expect to find. Uh, what I picked up was actually, I got coilovers. I found some BC racing coilovers locally on the Facebooks. Dude was pretty cool. Said that they only had like a few thousand miles on them and a few track events. So, I mean, this is what it is. I don't see any leakage from them. So hopefully they'll work pretty good. If not, I guess I wasted my money. Uh, I would love to buy new ones, but you know, when you're building a new car, it's all expensive. So uh, I think these are just the basic models. I'd love to upgrade to the digressives later on, but you know, I think it's good to just learn on some of the, I don't want to say inexpensive stuff because this stuff is still expensive, but like, you know, the lesser stuff and see what, you know, the nicer things actually do for you when they're installed. Uh, I bought some sandpaper to start sanding this car. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle it with, bought this multi-pack from Home Depot. Uh, I'll probably start with like the 100 grit, see if that's too aggressive or not, and go from there and then do like 100 on up to like 150, 220, um, and then go through that. And then when I get to the priming stage, I actually did buy 500 grit, so I could do like a 220 quick, and then 500 to smooth it all out if I need to. Before I start painting, I actually need to drop the subframe. So, I don't know if I wanna drop the subframe first or if I wanna start sanding first. Probably gonna sand first because I might wanna pull this thing out so I can hose it down outside so I don't have to do it inside necessarily. Yeah, sand first. Okay, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna throw a little pink paint on top, just a real quick like spatter coat so I can see what I have and have not sanded yet, just for sanity's sake. I did 100 to start with, 150, and now we're gonna go to 220, because I wanna paint things. Art project time. Okay, so, did that, and we're down to this. I also attacked all of the like surface rust with a wire wheel that was on here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hose this off one more time. Attack it with 220. And then hose it off another time, and push it back in the garage. So, shouldn't be too long, almost done. Almost there. Gonna get this done tonight, hopefully. Paint prep, Wee! Paint prep 2019. It's like spring break, but for paint prep. This is so much fun, guys. Whoop, whoop. Okay, bye. Got the break.
got 220 grit done. Gonna call it there for sanding. Think I'm gonna go get some dinner. Maybe we'll come back to this. Maybe. If not, go comment and subscribe and like the video because that super helps. I always like appreciating it. Like appreciating it. I mean, like hearing it and like hearing what you guys have to say about the projects. Um, advice, would you have done it this way? Would you have not? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go go in search of dinner and then come back to this for cleaning reasons because it needs to get clean still. Anyway, so that's my game plan. Maybe. If not, then I'll have the supplies for cleaning. So we'll see. Peace. Back. Ate pizza. I'm now an honorary Ninja Turtle. I feel like that's all it takes. Eat some pizza. Uh, got some alcohol, a scrubby pad, and some towels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the car a quick scrub down, quick cleaning, wipe everything down, make sure we get all the crud up, and um, I'm going to call it a night after that. Uh, should be good to go in the morning for paint. Uh, after that, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more prep work tomorrow, which you guys will see in the next video, because um, I don't want to spoil the surprise, even though it's probably not a surprise what I'm probably going to do next. But it's kind of a surprise. Maybe it's a surprise. I don't know. We'll find out. Eight thirty, almost nine o'clock. Anyway, so this is a result of a couple hours, two, three, I don't know, a few hours of sanding. We did 100, 150, 200, or 220, and then a scotch bright pad, um, denature alcohol, well, just isopropyl alcohol, whatever, dries up pretty quickly. Alcohol on all of it. Um, so, Fairly clean surface, should be a pretty decent surface to paint too, I would hope so. I'm going to let it dry overnight, and then tomorrow we're going to get started with the rest of it, finish prep, and start painting. So, pretty excited. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.